Alrighty, so uh, last time you guys went on your, you continued your adventure across the lands of Barovia, hoping to deliver Irina to the village of Kresik. Um, went along, you found some werewolves, several of those that you managed to um, subdue with some well-placed dream pies and a delicious blackened chicken that you found. Um, went through there. You continued down along the path and made it to the entrance of the village of Kresik, where you met with the burgomaster, who was not did not allow you entrance immediately. He told you that you had to do something for the village to prove that you had the village's best interest in mind and would be an ally to the village of Kresik. So he has tasked you with going to the Wizards of Wine because they have not been receiving their proper shipments of booze. And when you're bummed out and there, everything sucks in the world, the only thing that really can keep you happy is a little bit of wine. Alright, so you made it to the uh, Wizards of Wine pretty easily. And you were met by a one Davian Martikoff who has introduced himself. Uh, he is the... I don't know if we said directly, but you would be able to sort of gather he's the proprietor of the Wizard of Wine. Um, he has some druids that have taken over his winery and have stopped production, which is causing the, ish the supply chain issues of in delivering the wine to the village of Kresik. He fought a bunch of needle blights, like... 18 needle blights and walked around the um, Wizard of Wine building, just kind of scouting it out. You found a, Alexander found a druid uh, sent up Zerk, his um, lizard minion. Familiar, rather familiar. There you go. Yeah, with lizard familiar to climb up the wall and peek into the window. The druid spoke to. Um, Zerk and indirectly through to Alexander telling you to turn around to leave and what does the party do? They enter into the Wizards of Wine Chateau, the villa as it were, and decided to go into the basement uh, once in the cellar you open the door and found this druid individual along with some needle blights uh, who immediately appeared hostile towards you and that is where we finished off so, starting on or starting out with combat today. So, I did put us on the battle map here, uh, but we 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 do have a little bit of a hallway here, like we were. So we will have to move through this until we get to the room. So, Alexander, at, you are at the top of initiative here. Yes, I am. I am going to as an action. Summon Zerk on Asuka's shoulder. Actually, no. Oh, man. This is not going to work, is it? Um, what's his speed? Nope. This will work, I think, because this spell is a bonus action. So yeah, I'll use my action to summon Zerk on Asuka's shoulder. The fuck is this thing? You've seen Zerk. Yeah, but never touching me. <laughs> you can see his little tongue like lick his eye. <laughs> and then with my bonus action, I'll have Zerk cast Dragon's Breath on himself. And it'll use Zerk's reaction. And what does Dragon's Breath do? Uh, as an action, Zerk can... Uh, and I'll choose the element. Uh, it allows him to spew a breath of... Uh, let's do... Lightning. Okay. In a 15-foot cone. I need to roll initiative for Zerk. Because he now has turn and initiative okay i added him in 
He doesn't take his turn the at the same time you do? Nope. Okay. Um, that is a 16 for Zerk. I don't know why I didn't roll it on. Okay. So Zerk will come in at the top of next initiative then, right? Yep. All right, cool. And I'll mentally tell him to breathe, breathe lightning on the enemies. <laughs> Okay, and he said that was a 15-foot cone? Yep. And they on Asuka's shoulder. So probably could hit the druid in this needle blight. Yeah, but he'll move with Asuka, which I'm guessing he's going to run up there. <laughs> <laughs> Turns around to the to the rest of the party. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, Ro, let me add control over Misa for you for a sec, or real quick. I'm over here like, ah, it's on fire, it's on fire! <laughs> hey, maybe something will actually be useful will come like, for me tonight. Mostly, mostly singed eyebrows. <laughs> Don't let him die. And the, uh, Ro, dr drag Misa back out into the square, and you should have control. Mm-hmm. Where is Alaric? He has his D&D &D session that he DMs. That's they cool. have... Yeah, they've decided to only go once every three weeks, which is kind of weird, but... Mm -hmm. If it works for him, I guess. Alrighty, and so the Needle Blight and the Druid have to make a deck save. Alexander? No. no, 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 no. He can't, he doesn't do his action until his turn. Oh, gotcha, okay. Yeah. The spell's a bonus action, so it allows you to cast it and use the action yourself, but... Okay. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to control Jimothy. He's just going to be gone, because I don't want to fuck <laughs> with it. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. He evaporated in a dark cloud if, uh, of broad energy. If I were any better at, like, controlling characters, I would help, but honestly, I would just... No, he did not put his character sheet in the appropriate place, and so... Yeah, I see. That's, that's what... Yeah, and I'm not going to just read off of this stupid fucking PDF. Like, that's ridiculous. Right. <laughs> Alright, so... DM cast Disintegrate on Jimothy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so then it'll be Rose's turn. And... And we'll just say for the sake of it that everybody is scooted up because everybody would be scooted up. Yep. Okay, so it's my turn. Yes. You don't have to dash to get in there. I d too many people. Yeah. Okay, you're right. You can hold your action. Oh, exactly. To move. You're right in front of me though, right? I yeah. I used everything on my turn and I was not getting up front. <laughs> Wizard doesn't do squish well. Saska's chub. <laughs> I feel used and abused. And I like it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I am going to cast. I'm going to poke Alexander since he's our squishy one and do that. Feel the cool. faith. Alexander, you get plus two AC. I'll take it. I suppose I don't have mage armor up. What? I don't have mage armor up. Actually, can I reach around him and hit Misa then, since he's got mage armor? You um, can move through me and then step back. Yeah, you can temporarily occupy a space as long as you don't end your turn there. It's just difficult terrain. I'll just step forward and touch Misa then to put it on Misa. Okay. Since Instead... I've got mage armor, yeah. I don't, but no, that's fine. I thought you just said you did. I said I don't have mage armor on, so this is nice. Oh. <laughs> no, it's fine. You can do what you want. <laughs> no, we'll give it to Misa because Misa likes to get up in the middle of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Misa is more of a frontline person. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm good. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Was there like a firework or something? Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 There's Mrs. Mage armor. I have. You can't see. I don't do well with fireworks. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Ro, is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no, that'll be my turn for this round. Alrighty. So up next will be the Needle Blights' turns. Okay. Did we remove Nitsa from the chat already? Yeah, we did. He's Was she ever added in? Yeah, yeah she's in nine. Before. Okay, weird. I'm not sure yeah. how that happened. It's because you deleted Oh, it. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let me descend. Okay, needle blight. Alrighty, so... This needle blight up here at the front is going to look at Asuka and it's going to have these needles spike up on its back as it launches them towards you. Um, does an, an 11 does not hit missing. Woo. Nope. Right, the one behind it is going to step into his spot for a moment and again attempt to throw needles at you. 14 misses, right? Yep, sure does. Then this one in the back here is also going to step into his spot and attempt to needle blast you. 13 missing. Goddamn. Yeah. He's our tanky boy. <laughs> he better not get that pepper. I love fighting stormtroopers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's going to do the same thing. Needle. Missing with a five. I really this one's... Both well... I, I guess. <laughs> Alright, and one last time for the Needle Blights. Ten, god damn it, okay. Alright, that's the Needle Blights turn. Alright, Misa. Is that door actually five foot, or is that just there to illustrate? I mean, it was the it's normal door size. It's not big or small. Well, I'm just wondering if... Like, this is actually five foot of movement across here. Yeah, you don't have to use movement through the door, yeah. Like, you okay. wouldn't normally. There, there would be a space. Well, there would be a space here. So there is five feet there because as the hallway connects to the okay. room. Well, gonna... so there's actually a short. There's a five foot thick wall between the hallway and this room. Mitsu is going to step squish past Oscar. Step up and hit this one right here in front. With okay. My rapiers. Oof. So I'm trying to remember how he does this. Um, max, max, back. He won't get sneak attack. He goes in, repost, and then jumps back out. Yeah, with with sneak attack, you have to have what is it? An ally within a certain. Well, range. he's a spot buckler, so he has to either have an ally, advantage. Or they have to be a solo target. They can't have allies near it. Okay. So, no sneak... But, I mean, you'll still get your damage. Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna attack this one right here in front. Got a 13 right. to hit. 13. So that hits. And then I'm gonna disengage and go back into my corner. Oh. How much movement does she have? Bro. That would be. Because it's 20 to get up there. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So then. Yeah, move back up there. And it might be a good idea to clear the way for yourself yeah, and your allies. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so she's at 20. So I'm actually going to give her. Keep switching back and forth from here. Over here. Out of the way. That's where I get her target. Cool. And Audio I didn't... decided to stop for a hot second, so it's backed up now. Oh, weird. Give me one sec. I didn't add Davian into the initiative. Oh, shit. He, he, he's just taking it easy the first round. <laughs> I'll just put him in at the end of initiative. That's fine. I'm going to see if I can get everything. One 
Oops, I forgot to pull up his stat block. Sorry, guys. Alrighty, so he'll be a nine. Great, no. Be a seven. He's a fighter, right? That's what we determined. Avian? No, yeah. You don't know? Well, but what he did, he's a partial fighter at least. You saw what you saw? Um, he has not disclosed that to you. I don't remember what I saw. <laughs> what the what you saw, um you saw him attack with a sword, a short sword, and you saw him attack with a crossbow. Gotcha. Alrighty, and it is the druid's turn. And oh. on the druid's turn, what are they going to do? Okay, so the druid here is going to move back, and there will be a wine rack here. And from behind the wine rack, the druid is going to cast Thunder Wave. What? Mm-hmm. Um, it's a self spell. I'm sorry? Thunder Wave is a self spell. Yep, so well the the druid is going to do 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 do. What's the range on that, is it? Ten fifteen foot cube. It's centered around yourself though. Or not centered, but it's on yourself. Right. I know. Okay. Alright, the druid is going to cast Thunder Wave. And, oops, and as the druid casts Thunder Wave, you're going to just hear this, this shatter, this crackling, as you hear this gl sound of glass shattering. As you hear this, um, 14 bottles of wine have been shattered and destroyed. The cream of the crop, Champagne du la Stomp. Rude. <laughs> Rude. Wow. And that'll That's... be the druid's turn. Bit of a big move, <laughs> but all right. <laughs> right? If I'm going to die, I'm taking all the alcohol with me. By the way, can we see any other exits entrances to this place? There was one to the left. Yeah, let me. Okay. Yeah, there's another room off to the side here. Yeah. Okay. Well, everyone knows yeah. we're here now. Yeah, so there's like another, there's like a little, it's not really a door, there's just like another little passageway, um, and there is another, like, basically half to this room. No, all of China knows you're here. That was rude. <laughs> the druid just looks and smirks. My turn? Yes, sir. I move up got my little fire breathing dude on me lightning yeah. lightning whatever <laughs> I, I feel like fire would be more useful right now i didn't see what we were fighting oh uh, all righty so first things first i guess i'll just go ahead and just smack on them but you're not you're no longer in my line of sight so we'll go ahead and skip bless at the beginning uh, let's go ahead and use, you know what, why not? I haven't used this before. Oh, wait, do I have one more? No, I have two slots left, okay. I'm going to cast Armor of Agathis. Okay. Ooh. So you get the five temp HP, and so anything that attacks you, um, while you have that up, they take the cold damage, right? So uh, you gain five temporary HP points for the duration. If a creature hits you with a melee attack, while you have these points, the creature takes five cold damage. Nice. You see Asuka build this, like, or this sort of frost comes out of Asuka's armor, and at normally he's got some heavy armor, but now it's just reinforced by this sheet of ice surrounding him, and these, like, kind of spikes. Alrighty, um, and that's gonna be it for me. I'm obviously aiming 
lizard boy over here towards them. <laughs> okay. Yep. And uh, that's it for me. Alrighty. So. Let's see. So. Gonna be. Ooh, so. Davian's turn, so he can move 10, 20. He can move 30 feet to get here. <laughs> <laughs> He would want to try and shoot his crossbow. Half cover adds two to their AC, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna try and shoot. He's gonna try and shoot the one um, in front of Oscar. It's gonna. He's gonna kind of try and do a trick shot between your legs, Oscar. So watch out. <laughs> bounces off the floor and up into the needle bite and widen my legs. All right, so he's going to fire his crossbow. Fourteen with mm, wait. Oh, with half cover, that would just hit. Alrighty, so that will do six damage, killing this needle blight. What? Yep. Oh, needs a hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? It already took damage. Really low HP. These guys are fodder. True. Yeah. Alrighty. So it is now Zerk's turn. Zerk will release his little breath of lightning. You see his mouth open up next to you, Ask, and lightning bolt shoot out in an arcane cone. Uh, we'll do the left side, so these three. Alrighty. Cool. So they just take. How, do they uh, have to save? Oh, yeah, we will. Um, I need them to each make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Okay, 2, 13, 19. 2 fail. Uh, 19 saves. It's a 14. Okay. And how much damage will they take? 3d6 or half on a save. Roll it up. Nine. Nine. Nice. So. You see Zerk blows out this lightning, which you don't think he's going to do much because he's such a little guy, but <laughs> then all of a sudden you just see this crackle of lightning come up and do a fairly significant amount of damage to these needle blights. Make sure to use this spell slot. Alrighty, and is that the end of Zerk's turn? Yeah, he's staying on Asuka. Alrighty, Alexander. Okie dokie, okie dokie. You know what I'm reminded of? I, I feel like he's like the little lizard from Frozen 2. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, his eyes. <laughs> Five... 15, 20. Oh, that's all I can move. Um, I use magic missile on the druid. Alrighty, roll me some damage on level, those missiles. Level one. We're gonna do that here. Let's see. Eleven. Nice. I'll so, say stop that. <laughs> <laughs> so you see Alexander fling these sort of jagged shards of magic at this druid, and they just dig into the druid, doing a nice little chunk of damage, but the druid still seems all right. Hopefully she understands me. <laughs> stop it. That's as far as I can move. This is a bad time for Ro, being in a hallway. You're going to have to dash <laughs> to get in there. I'll make space in a moment. After your turn. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Alexander, is there anything else you'd like to do? That's action. I'll also say, good job, sir. Keep it up. <laughs> the lizard Don't kind of purrs at you. Just head. 
Right row. Would be probably the best thing you could do would probably be to dash into the room and if you have any bonus actions that you can use. War priest shit. Oh yeah. I've never seen the class get played, so I'm not sure what it is. It's both. Ten misses. Okay. So, you see Rose, she's kind of flustered for, because she's been stuck at the back of the action for so long. She dashes and is really pleased with herself. She's like, ha-ha, and then she swings the book and just goes wide with it. I don't know when my book club turned into a plus five, but... Yeah, so, better, better, better. That's, that's just your hit modifier with the book oh, flail. That's okay. You have plus five to hit with it based on your stats. Okay. Alrighty, so it is the Needle Blight's turn. Alrighty. Targets now. <laughs> this Needle Blight is going to come up and claw at Misa. 17, does that hit? She does have a plus 2 to AC currently. Um, no, it will, at me, he's attacking Misa, and I need to know if a 17 hits. Oh, sorry, uh, 16. <laughs> sorry. Is that, that, is that with the plus two? Uh, actually, that's mine. Uh, AC is 17 without the plus two, so AC 19, so no. So that'll miss, alrighty. And then, this one will come up to row, and again, claw at row, 19 to hit, that hits. Yeah. Alrighty, so it's going to do six damage. Alright, and we'll need a concentration save for that spell. Um, was it was the concentration save for, or the, was it the concentration save was it twice the damage done? Was or it's half the damage or ten, whichever is higher. Okay, so it'll be ten. So. Uh, Ro, you fail the con you fail your concentration check, and the um, armor on Misa fades. Alrighty, this twig or needle blight will come up to Asuka, and claw at oh, that's needle claw at Asuka. Um, with a twenty. Unnatural, so not a crit, but. Right. Yeah. Still. Uh. Yeah. That hits. Okay, uh, nine damage. Okay. Ow! <laughs> also, also though, it does take damage. Oh, it does? Wow. The creature hits you with a melee attack while you have these hit points. The creature takes five cold damage. Awesome. So that will get, it will break your shield, but it will take damage. Cool. So as this needle claws into Asuka, um, you see it breaks the armor and the sh glass like shards of ice stab into the needle blight. Killing it. Useful, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. And then this last needle blight will also claw at Asuka. So, 16. Does that hit? No. Nice. <laughs> Missing. Alrighty. It is Misa's turn. Okay. Um, so, since I've got Row right next to Misa... Misa can attack twice with both rangers, correct? I'm not really familiar with it, yeah. Chrome. You can. <laughs> she uses her action and bonus action. 
with dual weapon and dual elder feet and gets the same modifiers to hit and damage. Oh yeah, so you can hit both attacks. And you'll have sneak attack damage on it, which will include an extra d6. So sneak attack on the first one, right? On any of them. Oh, all of them? Cool. As long as the target is within five feet of an ally. Okay. So roll to hit for the first one. The 14 hits for 12 damage. Did oh shit. Did you get the extra D6 mm. damage? Is that what Bobby oh. Bunder just said? Yeah. That's the sneak attack additional, so 18. Well, that thing is fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's gonna hit the one next. Sneak, oh right. Well, sneak attack only works on one attack. That's what you meant. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 10 misses. <laughs> and then that would be Nate Christian. Oh, the one the one that hit was a really good hit. <laughs> Nate was not good. Overall, it was a good hit. Yeah. Alrighty, so it is the Druid's turn. Alrighty, so the Druid... What will the Druid do? I told her to stop that, so maybe she'll listen. <laughs> I can hope. Alrighty, so the druid is going to. Yep, the druid is going to look over. And let me see something. Yep, the druid is going to look over at the party and say, Stay right there. As it casts Entangle. And I need a strength saving throw from all of you, please. What save? Strength. Does uh, Zerk need to, since he's standing on Asuka and not the ground? Mm, no, I mean, it's com it's vines coming from the ground to grasp your feet. Oh god, my rolls, I swear to god, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so Rohana passes, and everybody else fails the dex check. Or, excuse me, strength check. I have right. a plus two. That's just sad. I have a minus one. <laughs> so you are all restrained. Except for Rohana. In which way? You meaning Restrained meaning you cannot move. Uh, your speed is to down to zero um, and attacks against you have advantage and your attacks have disadvantage okay but sorry but i guess what i mean to ask is what is restraining us is it just magically restrained or you are yeah. restrained by plants that have grown up from the ground and entangled themselves around your legs and slash at them and destroy them maybe you what we yeah, can po slash at them and destroy them. possibly yeah okay that's kind of what i was wondering what's restraining you it's plants that have sprouted up from the ground, though. Alrighty. And that will be the druid's turn. She didn't pull up any fucking bottles. <laughs> she, got a, she got a good number. Not nearly as many as she could have earlier. Yeah, I saw the d20 plus 10. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, no! Alright, Asuka. So I'm just thinking what I want to do now. So I'm struggling. Oh. He's being Sorry. zombie. Is the guy in the back? Did he have to make that check? Oh, yes, he did. Thank you. Before Bosco goes, I just wanted to make sure. He passes to the 17. Okay. It is still difficult to rain, though, so he will have some issues getting up. Mm hmm. Alright, Asuka, what would you like to do? We cannot hear you. Your mouth is moving, but I don't hear anything. Oh, sorry. I forgot to push talk. I'm trying to be clever, but I don't think it's going to work. So, I am... I got one of these doom boppers right in front of me, though. But I do attack with disadvantage, I think you said? You do, while you're restrained. 
Lost it. I need to do it. Okay. How about... I had no idea we could do that. That's cool. Okay, I guess I'm. Can I? Uh, I'm gonna slash at the at the brambles on me. Okay. Um, give me an attacks an an attack roll with disadvantage. So can I just do two attack rolls? I don't know how to do a disadvantage. Yeah, you just do two, and we can do the. We'll take the lowest number. You can hold control for disadvantage in the future. For now, I roll well. <laughs> nice. So with an 18, all right, so with, with an 18, you do slash, and you manage to free one of your legs. So you have, you can move one of your legs around. That's better than nothing. OK, uh, I'm going to go ahead, and uh, that's, that's all I can really do here. So yeah, done. All righty. And on Davian's turn. I'm cursing, slashing at my brambles. <laughs> what would he do? Almost picked up this spell. With Entangle? Oh, I can't. It's true. Hold on. Yeah, Davian is going to see that he really doesn't have a whole lot of options at the moment, and he will yield his turn to Zerk. Come on, little lizard boy. Get him. <laughs> What do you do? Uh, Zerk's turn. Yeah. What did Davian do? Ended his turn. Oh, okay. Oh, Zerk will just breathe lightning on the other two blights. All right. Bah. Me. Climbs on top of Oscar's head to get a better angle. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. clammy. Nine and a three. I'm pretty sure those both fail. Yeah. You're going to take. Ooh, ooh, ooh. the dicey rolls. Ooh. Alrighty, as Zerk exhales this lightning over these needle blights, they crackle with electricity and just kind of explode, dead. Uh. Alrighty, then Alexander, your turn. So going to cast magic missile again on the druid. Okay. Okay. While screaming, if you do not surrender, I will burn the forest to the ground. I have threatened this once before. <laughs> and I will try to intimidate her into surrendering with my draconic presence to give me advantage. Alrighty. Um, yeah, roll an intimidation check. Make sure it works on intimidation. Am I able to intimidate her and use magic missile, or just one or the other? Does the draconic presence take an action? Does it say? No. It, t it says no action required. One sec. Oh. Uh, it says intimidating during combat takes an action. Okay. So do you want to do that, or do you want to um, magic missile? Yeah, I will. I'll right, so roll me an in, in intimidation check. And th with your draconic presence, you get advantage on that, you said? I do. Nice. So... That is a 20, so let's see. We'll be contested. Let's see what the, if the druid can. I don't think so. 
nope, she does. So she's intimidated. She's freaked out. So what? what is it that you were trying to intimidate her into doing? Surrendering? Yeah. Okay, so the druids, the druid freaked out by this fucking, like, lizard man that's screaming at her from across the room. She will drop concentration on Entangle, and she'll say, Please, please, don't kill me. Don't kill me. I, I, I didn't mean to hurt anybody. I'm just... We're, we're here for the wine. We're here for the... For the winery. And... She'll just kind of... Fall to her knees on the ground. And you are no longer restrained. As she has dropped concentration on the... Um, entangle. Move up out of this poor way. Since I can now. Are we still in initiative, or...? Uh, yes, we are still in initiative, currently. End my turn. Alrighty, Rohana, your turn. What would you like to do? Um... Sorry, I'm just going to Well, that was a little cool about that. <laughs> Right, give me an unarmed strike to see if you're able to success. Well, no, she, no, she, she's, groveling, uh, she's so. yeah, she's groveling. Yeah, she would, she would allow it. She's not gonna resist. <laughs> That's my turn. So just her hands, you said. Hands and feet. Hands and feet. Okay, so she is now prone. Tied up. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so is. Anybody going to attack her? Lisa wouldn't. No, I think we should probably keep her alive. Davian looks and says, Well, I want to kill the bitch, but if you've got better plans for her, then I'm willing to I'm willing to see that, what happens. I think that uh, we, you can use her to negotiate to have the rest of the druids leave you alone. I prefer not to take her life without knowing the entirety of the story of both sides. <sighs> she, her and her kind of cost me a hell of a lot of money, but okay. Blood will not repay you. Made me feel better. Maybe we can work something. <laughs> I'll have Zerk disappear. Pretty, and so that will be initiative. Alrighty, so you've got a tied up druid. Can we go back to your map? Oh, sure? yes. For sure. Do they, do they, can druids cast spells while tied up? Like, is it... Some... Gen I mean, it depends or if it requires it somatic like components. Um, okay. Most spells do, but th if there might be some verbal verbal only spells but i don't think many spells are verbal only he wants to risk us punching her in the face and so be it Ready? so we've got oh let me do 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 <laughs> do <laughs> okay tied up druid here just looking at all the wine bottles that got destroyed yeah, you we, see... we stopped them from destroying more, so. Yes, yeah, so you do see several shattered bottles of wine here. These are the cream of the crop, the most primo bottles of wine, the Red Dragon Crush. You see Davian kind of oh, looking at these broken bottles and just kind of sobbing. We haven't been able to create these in so long. <laughs> Glad she didn't destroy them all. Druid, what is your name? Does she have a name? Let me see. <laughs> well, clearly she wasn't important if she doesn't have a name. 
fodder. Yeah. My name is Callie. Callie, do you understand why we're here? I'm sorry? Callie, do you understand why we're here? Obviously, you don't like what we're doing here. Well, it technically is trespassing. This man owns this land, or this building at least. And you have kicked him out of his home. I understand that he probably had taken land from the druid to grow his wine. That may be the case, but... Why don't you help inform me of what you, the reason behind your aggressive takeover? Well, we're here because of the seeds that the, we're here because of the seeds that uh, fuel the Wizards of Wine. The They contain very powerful nature magics and we are hoping to call forth our leader to perhaps impress Strahd. Are they your seeds? I I do not know if they're my if they are, were once our seeds or not. Um they've been here at the Wizard of Wine for many, many, many years. I really don't know whose they belong to originally if they even just belong to the land, but we needed their power. So instead of a conversation with, I gesture towards the man. I forget his name. Zach forgets his name. Davian. Davian. So instead of making conversation, you kicked him out of his house. Or was you, there an attempt? Whoa. So instead of making civil conversation with Davian, you kicked him out of his house. So was there an attempt to? Um, no, I personally did not attempt to speak with him. Um, I, I'm really just, I'm really just a foot soldier. I don't have a whole lot of knowledge. All I know is that we needed, we needed the seeds to call forth Winter Splinter. Davian, did they try to speak with you about the seeds before they assaulted? Davian just shakes his head. Nope. Huh? That's good information. I'm just trying to get the whole story here and whether or not you all deserve to live or die. Wait, you, you, you were cutting out a little bit again. Whether you oh, deserve to what? Live or die. Well, I don't know. Um, that's up to you. I, I would like not to die, but I'm afraid I've told you everything I know, really. Would your companions listen to us if we had you? Well, I, as you are. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> doubtful I am one of many. There are many, many more where I came from. Um, I'm... I'm not really special. How many are here currently? Um, we have completed our primary assault. There's just a few of us here. Um, there's only a few of us here. Sort of finishing up loose ends. Um, I think there Could are fewer than five of us here currently. Could you control animals or needle blights that are aids to your allies and stop them from Assaulting us while we attend nest. I can only control those that I have summoned. And I'm guessing those are all disposed of. They are. Fantastic. Well, we will keep you with us to the time we see fit, but we don't need you anymore. I'm afraid we can't let you go quite yet. We. I have no intentions of killing you as of yet. I'm sure our friend, the w uh, wizard, Davian, would love to have your head on a spike, but unless your friends are uncooperative, hopefully that won't be necessary. Davian kind of looks and sort of 
flashes of short sword and winks at her a little bit. So, if you help us, you may live. And by the sound of it, it is what you wish. I I don't want to die. Um, I don't. Give give me give me a persuasion check. This is why I put points in charisma. <laughs> Damn. Okay. What else? She honestly does not have a whole lot she could offer, but let me see what she would do. <laughs> You're really going hard on this unimportant bitch. <laughs> 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 They're the easiest ones to persuade onto our side. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me see here. You gotta call one of my friends and make her play druid. She would have been perfect to take over. Nice. You put it now every so often roll, like I can barely hear you and then I can hear you well. I don't know why. Probably because I'm not talking out loud, so. Ah. All right. I'm always... So, with with that persuasion check, Kelly okay. says, "I have one small thing I could offer you. If you would allow me." I can send my I can send a messenger throughout the villa um, asking my companions, letting them know that my mission has been taken care of, that I'm going to be leaving now and advising they do the same as soon as possible. How do we know you're not just telling them to come attack? Give me an insight check. Um Callie, we don't want them to leave with the seeds, preferably. And that would be probably what they do if you do send them that message. Oh, the seeds are gone. The, they've, they've been taken. That's not a problem. That's why the wine is no longer grow, or the grapes are no longer growing as they should. The seeds have been taken. We are simply... We are trying to make it difficult for the Mordakovs to retaliate. That brings us to a bigger problem. We need those where, back. Where is the base of operations? The the summoning... And also, Asuka, with your insight check, yep. As far as you can tell, she's telling the truth. Okay. Um, I got hold of a friend who you can play the druid. Okay. Do you want me to tell her to bring the cops? Yeah, if they if are they interested in joining us on Saturdays? Uh, I think so. Yeah, have them join in and listen in for now. Um, see what they think. As Oscar said, you have a base of operations where we can retrieve these seeds. Um, yes, so one, of, one has been taken to Yesterhill. That is where we are completing that is where we are performing the rite. Um, another one has been taken to Berez. And I honestly don't know where the third one has been taken. I really don't. Yester Hill and... Berez. And we are new to the area. Would you be able to show us where those locations are on a map? Um, if you free my hand and you have a map, I can mark it. You realize we can end you if you betray us, if we free you. Hang on. What's his name can go ahead and give us that location? Why her? What do you mean? The proprietor, I forgot his name. Does he know where these places are? I mean, he's from the area, I would assume so. You're talking Davian. about Avian? Yes. Um, Davian would definitely know where Yesterhill is. What do you yeah. know about Berez? Okay. 
Testing, testing, testing. I asked the people on our side. So. Plus, we have no way of knowing that she's going to lie to us, so maybe send us on a wild goose chase. Davian says, I. He says, yes, I do know the, um, the general area of Berez. Um, it is a ruin. Wonderful. Little, little else but swamp these days, but I know approximately where it is. I'll have you mark it on our map. Arth, will you come with us? If you want your seeds back. Understood. Um, Ellie, is there any more yeah. druids on this floor? In the cellar, um, I believe I'm the only one. I'm gonna go ahead and check this room real quick while we're talking. Okay, so let me reveal this portion of the map. Name was Callie. Callie. I'll look at Callie and ask her if she has anyone else in the building. Or knows of anyone else in the building. Yeah, she told I... us of five or others, I think. Fewer than five is what she believes. Sorry, I've been trying to get my head straight. No, it's all is good. Is there a door here? I'm sorry? Oh, no, there's not a door. I just didn't reveal the map all the way. No, but for like this oh there we go that little hallway looks so weird oh yeah that's i just revealed the secret passage to you oopsie uh -huh. <laughs> i'm gonna say there's something wrong here i just i totally didn't even notice the little secret passage thing oopsie <laughs> hello that would be monday oh, okay oh, yeah. There, there, Asuka. I'm here. He's just really loud in the background, so I have it on mute. Hmm. Alrighty. So, real quick, Asuka, before you, um, you, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get all this. Before up. you saunter, where you should saunter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Before you get us all killed, doing exactly what you always tell me not to do. Hey, at least I'm not touching anything furniture. Yeah. No, actually, um. <laughs> You're good. You, the DM has given you the secret tunnel by mistake. You may walk through the passageway if you would. So, the if you so left choose. It open. Yeah, the druid left it open. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm checking out this room for some reasons. The secret passage is, um, you would go in here into this hallway. This oh. other half of the room is not secret. This is just the other half of the room. <laughs> Alrighty, so as you come into here, um, you, you see, you th you notice the secret door and you think it would take some effort to push through, but you actually manage to just kind of breeze right through it. As you open the door, you are greeted by a blast of cold air. A dark okay. tunnel stretches for... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. A dark tunnel stretches for 15 feet, ending at an archway beyond which lies a shallow cave. Um... First of all, I like to petition to have the idiot savant thing added to my character. I'm kidding. <laughs> it seems to happen to me more often than not. <laughs> Second of all, um, I poke my head out from the like the secret door and I tell them there's a secret passage here. Uh, I'm going to check really quick. It's also so, dark as fuck. Do you have a light yeah, source? I'm going to go ahead and turn on, turn on one of my torches, pull something from a pack. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Turn on one of my torches and then just kind of walk down a little bit. Alrighty. Towards so as mouth of the whoa. As you walk in, you enter a cave. So as you come into this cave, you would see a brown mold that's covering the walls, floors, and ceiling around the archway and through the cave beyond. Growing throughout this area, um, or excuse me, those are all growing throughout this area. And it appears that this is what is keeping the wine cellar cool. Wow. What would you like to do? Well, he's going to, I'm going to look at Dorian and ask him if he knows what the cave is. Or what the passageway leads to. I'm going to reach into my bag, grab a piece of cloth, anything that I have, and wrap it in front of my mouth and nose, because I have no idea what the hell this is. Okay. And, well... Um, 
How big is this place? It doesn't look like it's particularly big. Yeah, it's um about fifty foot across, um fit ten foot wide. Okay, so I, I, I raise my torch a little to see if I can see a little further in, see if I see anything out of the ordinary. You see just really the cave and you see this brown mold um stand or er, sort of just inner or spread throughout this cave that's really okay. all you see i'm gonna go ahead and walk away uh over here to the entrance and uh, call for alexander alexander could you take a look at this absolutely what did you find there's a type of weird substance growing on the cave walls very well I can't identify it. I don't know what it is. Maybe you will, Mr. Take a look. I have read quite a interesting book, quite a few interesting books on uh, caves, formations, and habitants. I will. I'll go ahead and hand him my torch. Oh. And I'll follow behind. Just... Well, you can hold it. I can see in the dark. Oh, well, must be nice. It's inconvenient. Not all of, not all of my kind can. Check your privilege. <laughs> we I just will... kind of stand in here, leaning over, kind of looking at these two, <laughs> just go back and forth, trying to decide if it wants to get the ball. <laughs> I will take a look around, <laughs> see if I can identify what this ball around mold is. All right, give me a nature check. Nature check? Yes. I am proficient in nature, but that is a natural one. Yeah, um, you're looking at it, and when you try and identify it, you just see that it looks like a brown mold. You're really not sure what it is. But it's cold. It seems to be cold. It seems to, it, yeah, it, does, it seems to be cold. As you come towards this room that's surrounded by it, um, the room feels cold. Well, in that case, I would like to take out one of my clay jars and with a small knife that I have, try to scrape some into the clay jar and try to fit it. Really what I was hoping you'd do. Okay. Alrighty, um, give me a constitution saving throw. Con? Uh, no. Back to the good rolls. 14. 14, let me see. That is enough. You will take 14 cold damage. As you touch this, even though you touch it indirectly, with your blade, with your knife, you still feel, as your hand gets near it, you feel the heat being pulled out of your skin into this mold. Do I fill up a clay pot? Or a clay thing? Yes, you can get you you can get some brown you can get some brown mold into your clay jar. Uh, do you have a way of insulating this, preventing this? I was just gonna put it in the bag of holding. Do you have some way of preventing this magical effect from robbing the next person who touches it of their heat? Speaking of which, aren't you a lizard? Cold-blooded. Even no. worse. It should be a critical. Or... <laughs> God. Nope, it just goes in the back of the <laughs> Um... I don't even. I I don't have anything for that. So. I'll, that'll be a problem for future Alexander okay, when he wants so to pull it out. <laughs> add a jar of brown mold into your bag of holding. Um, just know that the next person who reaches in and grabs this jar, unless they have taken proper precautions, will be at risk of this effect. Mandy, if you haven't figured it out yet, we're kind of playing with the first stages here. Um, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. At least it didn't kill us, or attempt to kill us. Yes. 
or nearly succeed, and in Geom's case, actually succeed. I I I have one HP, guys. Oh God! Hang on, I got you. I'll go ahead and place my hand on your shoulder and bless you. Blessed? Because I'm sorry, not bless. Uh, lay on hands. You know what I mean. <laughs> I'll lay on hands you for. Uh, let me see how much I have left on the. No oh, shit. No oh, shit. Or he could just come out here to the druid that, or the cleric that has actual healing yeah. spells. Yeah, I'll come back out. Okay, fine, whatever. You can't save that, Asuka. I'll go get Ro. I'm just head, shivering. I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking cold. Give the torch to him just so I can see him a little. Watch him come out, and I'm just kind of tiptoeing <laughs> my head, going, "What the fuck did the idiot do?" <sighs> That's cold in there. Brown mold instructions unclear. Very cool. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I saved. Yeah, that was a shitload of dam it and that was really just only about average damage. Just a above. That is a lot higher than average. A, a what little is bit. um the proprietor's name? I keep forgetting it, but the uh, Darian. Davian. Davian. Davian well he's a he's the owner, he must know what that is. Davian, what was that? He said Oh yes, um or no, that's not his voice. He says, Oh yes, that is our um our brown mold. It keeps the cellar cool. It Remote, it works as kind of a refrigerant. It sucks the heat out of the things around it and keeps things nice and chilly. What's it do with the heat? Absorbs it, turns it into cold. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> uh, I would like... Useful. I could make my own icebox. He's I like, did, he, he looks at you... Don't waste them. He looks okay, at you and says, did you touch it? I wanted <laughs> to take a sample. Um, He's shivering over here, like, no! I'm, like, hugging the torch just close to me. <laughs> He's like, oh, wow, that was really stupid. Where'd you put it? I lift up my bag of holding. <laughs> it's in another dimension. Um, an extra dimension. Oh. Okay. No one can touch it unless they want to touch it. <laughs> well... You, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I've I've never done that before. You know, next time it will be better. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to we should time. get back to it. Yeah, um, definitely not going to be anywhere near the front now. <laughs> um, it looks like there's two. One of them's a ramp. It looks like the other one's stairs. What's up with this one over here? Well, the ramp looks to go down. It goes up. That goes up too? Yes. Oh, there was oh it's to roll the barrels down. Uh, look at you being smart. Are we sure about that? He just touched freezing mold. It was a scientific collection of material, and it was needed to further my research. Maybe. Maybe with the material I could create a potion that nullifies the effect of poor freezing. Or heat, maybe, since it kind of counteracts that. Oh, you're an idiot. Yeah. Yourself, collecting the damn plant that we have no use for. Every research endeavor requires risks to grow. Fucking bookworm. You laugh, but when you, when you throw that at Strahd, he's going to freeze. Although he's a vampire, therefore he doesn't have any body heat anyway, but whatever. <laughs> Don't overthink it. So what are we thinking, Mondi? Do you want to join this group of fucking idiots? <laughs> I'm just wow. trying to follow what's going on currently. So I'm 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 laughing myself. So I mean, <laughs> this is normal for us. This is nearly every session. <laughs> so One of us is dying. One of them's dying. It's <laughs> usually me because I'm a squishy, squishy boy. Well, she'll be a cleric. Or, a, yeah, cleric, so she's so much better than you. I might want to heal him, by the way. Just get to him. give him six hit points. No, my fuck you have six hit points. A whole six? I could have done more. And I hate to tell you, I'm not interested. You think I'm supposed to apologize to you? I'm not supposed to apologize to you. 
I yeah, it's, it's my husband's death. Um, <laughs> I apologize. That's why I, I keep it muted most of the time. <laughs> oh, good. And it's literally you can hear everything in the background. All I can say <laughs> is at least it's not Dragon Ball Z today. <laughs> what you're not spoiling his favorite scene by asking for chicken nuggets this time. <laughs> I, and yeah, every time someone goes Super Saiyan, I have to scream out, give him the chicky nuggies. <laughs> so um, he's told me multiple times that I've killed his joy. Oh, so. no. She's my best friend yeah. for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming at it. Give him the chicky Or like whenever the, the toddler, um, Goku, Gohan, one of them, I don't know what, what their names are. So, um, whenever I was like, ooh, that's a temper tantrum. Someone needs to go in time out. He's like, would you stop it already? It's like, I can't. It's too easy. Too easy. So should I help her build a simulator real quick? <clears throat> well, do you have yes. a base character sheet for Kali or no? She is literally generic, like, throwaway druid. There is nothing special. You guys yeah. were pumping, like, the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have you hold this until you tell me. No. <laughs> we subdued a druid thinking she was this head bitch in charge. She's nothing important. She's she, cool. she doesn't even have her own spe character sheet. Her character sheet is just druid. All right, got it. <laughs> druid. <laughs> We're not gonna do the whole message thing. I don't want them to know that we have you. Um. <laughs> We're gonna keep you with us. Right. Um, Who's gonna carry her? Well, we're Listen. turning her into Mandy, so she can walk as long as she promises to behave. So, like, are you gonna be carry her? Is he trying to fix it? Yeah. He can walk. Well, you know, it'd be kind of perfect as a circle of spores throughout. Yeah. I don't know. But then maybe he wants to buy it since someone decided to take mold. I'm sure everything. Yeah. Be a good one. Just dump the mold on her, turns into Mandy. <laughs> so would you be joining just for this session, or would it be like a more long-term thing that you're thinking of? That's dependent on y'all, I guess. Okay, well, I just want to know, because if you want to work this druid, if we want to work this into close. our story arc, and that be you, that's fine. If you'd like to have, make an appearance oh, elsewhere, well. that's fine, too. Thank you. Yeah, we'll just play it by ear, I guess. Well, I know you've played Druids before, so I trust oh, you that... Oh, yeah, I have, I mean, my current one is a bit, she, a bit, but she's a Leonin Druid specific to the magic world, so... I mean, we're in Shadow Fell right now. Huh? We're in the Shadow Fell right now, so... Yeah. I'm not sure how much... I know you've popped in and out of Oscar's streams before, so... Yeah, I've, I've peeked in and out, so it would just be like, I guess it would just be like a, tell me what to do as an ally and it, and it gets done, I guess. I don't know. We'll have to play okay. it by ear. Yeah. You you will, if you're going to be this Cali bitch, you will be a begrudging ally and we'll see where it goes. That sounds fun. Well, you're, you're a captive right now. Yeah, I'm captive. I tied you up with 50 foot of rope. Don't take that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, so. You probably can untie our feet if we're going to keep it with us. You're not and... going to run? Just for the bus. Well, I mean, we may be beneficial to have. We can tie I mean, her to one of us. To no Shibari. We tie her to Asuka. It's not like she's going to run away with Asuka. Look at the <laughs> mountain of muscle over here. Great, thanks. I love being a, you know, fence post. <laughs> you're a I good mean, you're one. about as smart as one, so it works. <laughs> well, untire feet and hand the rope to Oscar. It's 50 foot of rope. I mean, I didn't cut it, so just plenty for you to work with. Grab she was those. practicing her shibari. Wait, grab the end of the rope. I guess we're Let done me... here with the banks, Yes. Yeah. And, Mandy, there's the D&D &D Beyond campaign. If you want to join in there, you'll have access to all of our stuff for your character sheet as you create it. 
Nobody saw that. What? Nothing. All right, so you guys have this druid in tow. Um, Do we want yeah. to go back through the tall stairs or the spiral staircase that Oscar found? Oh, I'm along um, Hallie. Was it? Hallie. Yes. Hallie. Come along, Hallie, and just kind of gently nudge the, the rope. Uh, Alright, so as you go up the stairs. You reveal Should be careful with links in, in Roll Twenty, Boone. Did it not work? No no no. We're streaming and YouTubing. Okay. Uh, That's oh I right. I can't block that out, but I will scroll up. My bad. I just don't wanna you it. should send him to Discord instead. A after she joins, reset the link. Have you joined, Mandy? Yeah, demanding one. There we go. Reset invite link. Confirm. There, now yeah. it doesn't matter. <laughs> Just playing it safe. Cool, cool. So you guys will come up here mm -hmm. to this room. Yeah. So what you see here, no, bouncing guys, around. It's time to create a character. What do you want to do with that? All right, we're going to create you a druid. Okay. Uh, I recommend Sarah Charles, who character he was. Anything really. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Spore, he Turn in front of a small, muscular wood staff. Let's try and um, keep our character creation to like chat for now, just so we can keep the session rolling, okay? No worries. What's her name? Callie. Callie. Alrighty, so as you come up in here, I need to turn her down. How did you spell Callie? Um, I just had like K-A-L-I in mind. I'm just going to mute it because he's very loud. Okay. Alrighty, so as you're coming up in here, you will come into a turret that contains a, spo a stone spiral staircase. Windows in the outer wall allow light to enter. And you see that these stairs appear to continue to go up. Yeah. It can go up. Sweep the top did you want to? Did you say you guys were gonna go up again? Yeah. Up to here. Yeah. Let's go to the top floor, sweep it out, and get these pests pests free at least from our area, from this house. And then we can go get the seeds back. Alrighty. So if you go up the stairs once again, then you go up to the top here. Davian, got everybody stacked on top of each other. Apparently we like that. <laughs> Second or third time tonight, the party just clusterfuck themselves together. Small building. No, we just choose abnormally small holes and decide we all need to fit in them. Yeah. We can split the party. <laughs> to you first, wizard boy. <laughs> Zerk. Breathe lightning energy. I've got this. <laughs> Alright, so you're at now at the upper floor of the Wizards of Wine chalet, whatever. The villa here. Um so oh yeah, let me go on ahead. You would see this hallway in front of you too. 
before we leave, I want to go to the other side. I'm not saying right now, but at some point I want to go to the other side and ride the whole fucking slide, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! No. Right, and now that you're here, you will... That damn reveal tool, come on. Activate the trap card. Nope, just... You can see the rest of this hallway. Oh, and at the end of it, you'll see another staircase. This door looks open. Yeah, is, do you want to poke through? Hold on. Don't move. Nah. Too late. Motherfucker. It is, as you come into this room, you see another druid and... Say something. Some Hello. Other things. Not that... <laughs> She says, um, hello, <laughs> what are you doing here? So we have your friend, Allie. The fuck is Allie? Allie. Ollie. Yeah. Tally. Tally, fuck. Tally. Next time, Callie. <laughs> Next time, spell the name in chat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> She looks at you and says, you have a sister, I suppose. What do you want us to do with that? Callie, come say hi and tell them to leave. She would walk up and she'd be like, oh, damn it. She would walk up and say, hello, sister. Kind of hangs her head in shame. She says, I think you should leave now. The druid just kind of snorts and laughs at her. What are we going to do? Listen to a prisoner? And you have enough time to say about one other thing. Okay. What's I'm up? I'm going to... Can I see her from where I'm at? Who? The druid? Yeah, the one that's not Allie. I mean, you would kind of be able to see her through the wall of people if you craned your head the right way. What is with her? Painful things. Aren't they more of the thing, same things? It is Different. not the same thing. Different. Lovely. I don't know. If, do you want to give me a history check to see if you could recall what these creatures might be, if you've ever seen them before. Alexander? Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, you would recall that you have seen these. You don't exactly remember where, uh, but oh. you recall that these are vine blights, and that's initiative. Motherfucker! <laughs> Command. I cast command. Did you? I didn't hear that. I did. Okay. Well, okay. okay. You 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 could have done that at the same time as Alexander if you were doing that. What would you command? Leave. Okay. Uh, what is the DC on that? DC 12 wisdom save, looks like. Wisdom save. Give me one moment. Pull up the stat block. Wisdom. You said DC 12? That's what it says on here. Wisdom save DC 12. Okay. Um, she rolled a 10. How Bye, long girl. does that last for? Speak to one more command to a creature you save within range. The target must succeed. Blah, blah, blah. The spell has no touch of the target's undead. If it doesn't understand language or something of the other type of commands, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's a uh, duration. Secondly, it says one round. It's got a 60 foot range. It's one action. That's it. It's, it's only a one round duration? Yeah. Okay, I guess it's a lower level. So she would. She would use her movement speed to... She would have done this before combat started. Um, so she would have... 
I don't know, she would have gone to these stairs, I guess, and if she's not there to command the Vine Blights, they won't attack, they'll just stare at you. So she would be down the stairs, so you'd have temporarily done away with her. Your sisters don't like you very much, do they? Callie. <laughs> She's like, well, you took me prisoner. What did you expect them to do? These vine blades make me nervy, uneasy. Let's just go ahead and. Close you might want to get a move on because yeah, she's let's gonna go know. Outside and close the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's gonna be back very shortly, so. Yep, yep, yep. Close Wait, the door. If they, if they're just sitting there, can we destroy them without being attacked? They would. They would. Fight back if you attack them. Okay, I was they are... say, do they have a self, uh, like self um... preservation? Yeah, they are her. They're her thralls, but you know, if you attack them, obviously they're going to defend themselves. Uh, do I see anything that I can block the staircase with? Um, let me see. Your body. <laughs> that would be a start. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Box can be in just defense mode. So in the room that you were in. Uh, you did, the one that, um, the other druid was in that you closed the door, you did see a desk, a chair, a tall wooden cabinet, and a strange contraption that took up most of the northern end of the room. I mean, I do have the owner of the house here, if you could just ask him. Yeah, you do have Davian here. Davian would say, well, he's back here, he would say... You want to block this? You want to block the staircase? Um, good. Could we, we also don't know if there's anybody else in these rooms, so we can go ahead and start moving quick. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and hand the rope to Misa. Okay, Misa will grab the rope. And then I'm gonna go ahead and walk over here to the hallway or this right here. Oops. Wait. Staircase staircase and just kind of body block to see and I'll let him know as soon as you know they come we should see about getting rid of any other enemies um, see if any of you are a little bit more verbose or wordy about getting rid of people because I sure as fuck wouldn't no um, I guess we can leave the talking um, <laughs> I just don't like opening doors that's right. what Rose for. So how are you guarding this um, staircase, Asuka? Sword and shield drawn. I mean, my shield should be able to take up a little bit of space here. It doesn't look like a particularly large opening. Okay, and what's your passive perception? Passive perception... Oh, Lord. Uh, passive perception is... I gotta find it, sorry. Plus one? Ah, 11. 11, okay. Um, yep, she would, or this druid would come up behind you and are you, how, what, where are you I'm looking? Facing toward, I'm facing towards this, the staircase because I need to be able to see down there. Okay, you're facing towards the stairs, so she looks at you and says... That wasn't very nice, and that'll be initiative for real. Okay. We keeping what we rolled. That's fine. Ro, you rolled a twenty-seven. I'm Holy shit. Rolled a twenty-seven. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> so she got a natural twenty. Can you put Mises in since it for some reason didn't work when I tried? Yeah. I was really trying to avoid conflict. I was hoping that would last longer, but I didn't realize it wasn't going to last that long. Yeah, I guess it's only one ability. What you need is suggestion. Well, I don't think I get that. Probably not. You'll get, you'll get longer-lasting abilities like that. That was a really good use. That ability just, you know, is a short one. And the door, oh, just to make it clear, Boone, we did close the door with the vine bites in it. Yeah. Right. Already a uh, Davian in. 
I'm out of spell slots and easy dubs, so. Okay. Mandy, you got your sheet ready? Not quite. That's okay, take your time. Uh, we'll, we'll work your, your version of you in once you're ready. This is very last minute, no rush. And Damien rolled an 11. And Callie will not currently be fighting with you because she's a prisoner and, you know. Nope. Well, her hands are bound anyway. Alrighty. So. These guys here. They are closed into the room. Okay. So they are not part of the elite club. Not currently. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, Misa, you're up. So it's going to have Misa attack them, but I don't know if that's a good idea. So you have closed the door, and the vine blights are in the room. What you do with that is up to you. I mean... They're going to open the door there. and come at us either way, I think, so... Probably. Misa will push through the door and grab it to what her hand is holding. You don't get sneak attack. But yeah, and you can still you can still do your um, double attack, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. So first is twenty one. I'm pretty sure that hits. Let me just make sure it does. And four five. Why does every roll just goes when I'm playing my character? Because Misa has really high stat modifiers. <laughs> it does have sneak attack. It does. Because. Because there's no other monsters within five feet of her. There, the vine blight doesn't count. No. It, oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I see what you're saying. Luka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, so you can add another d6 to the first one. It just add d6. It doesn't matter. Does the thirteen hit? Um, it does. So twenty-one damage. Do I need to roll two then? What do you what? D6. You only get the one sneak attack. Okay. It's already rolled on the first one. Is it? Yeah. That's oh, you're right. Box. Oh, I, I did. I missed that totally. Okay. Oh. I see it now. Oh. Okay. Yep. Cool. So sixteen damage total then. It looks like on this first one. Well, it was actually 21 damage. The second attack hit. Yeah, so... S oh, right. Both of them together. Okay. Right, yeah. Total 21. Okay, I'll do this one here. And then Misa is going to disengage. She doesn't need to. If she just gets to say fuck you and walk away okay. with her class ability. <laughs> Can she... Does she have enough movement? Probably. She has a lot. Barely. Yeah. That will get if that's... She's here. Yeah. She is now here in the middle. All right. Oscar, you're up. All righty. So... She could flash down the stairs. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. That's literally what I was thinking about doing. It's like, boop. No, I'm just talking about grab that shield. Doom. That's exactly yeah yeah you know what um, she hasn't she hasn't taken an action has she no she has not okay um, God I wish I had an ability that let me like shield bash I think I get one of those eventually if you take shield master you can it's in this game. anywho so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, bash her with my shield try and knock right. her prone. Yeah, try and knock her prone. She's already on difficult terrain, right? Are you trying to knock her down the stairs or just make her fall down? I mean, yes. both. <laughs> I need you to be specific with what you're trying to do because it will play out differently. Can I Sparta kick her? <laughs> yeah, trying to push her down the stairs, I guess. Yes. 
Okay, okay. I'll do that. All right, roll me, um, roll me an unarmed strike. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Moon's like, he got a good roll for <laughs> Yeah, he got a good roll for one. I was hoping it would be a bad roll and I wouldn't have to worry about it, but... Uh... <laughs> Sorry. No, that's good. That's good. Bro is um... boxed a little in the corner. She has no clue what's going on. She just hears... Thump, 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 thump. <laughs> Stay out. Okay, so this you hear... Yeah, you hear this... Clattering down down the <laughs> stairs, and there's gonna be some damage. I told you to leave. All right, roll me three d six, Oscar. How? You can say type slash roll three d six. Slash roll space 3d6. Correct, correct, yeah. It matters. It's annoying. You're right. <laughs> okay, 12. Ooh. So, you hear, you feel like you almost faintly hear like a crunch as she falls, and you can't really see what's going on, but something happened. Oops. I was gonna leave a okay, mark. Done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn, Oscar? Uh, that's it. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I got to live my best life, Sparta kicking somebody down some stairs. That was definitely not something I anticipated happening. <laughs> you should know by now what this group of idiots. <laughs> we can't use conventional means of fighting. We right, so... a poke on someone to kill them. I mean, party. All right, so the druid is going to use half her movement speed to get up wherever she's at. <laughs> and he prone? What? Well, she would have gotten knocked down the stairs and fucking fell flat on her ass. <laughs> Come up again! I dare you, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna say she would just be able to make it back to the top of the stairs, just barely, kind of hobbling up in like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, I finally get to do something I've been wanting to do. Oh Ugh. no! Oh god! <laughs> All right. She's going to look at you, Oscar, and say, "How dare you?" Hey, we gave you the option to leave peacefully. She's going to snap her fingers, and all of a sudden you hear this crash of thunder around her. I need a constitution saving throw. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not close enough. Constitution <laughs> Needs to kind of pops Alexander on the head. Good human shield. Eesh! That is a fail. Ooh, you're gonna go flying. <laughs> Bullet for dumb bosses! Return right. the favor in turn. You're going to take 15 thunder damage as this druid casts thunder wave, and you feel she kind of returns this damage to you in kind. The crackling damage she felt through her bones falling down the stairs, you kind of feel that pulsing and vibrating through your skeleton. I'm trying to shake it off, but I'm clearly damaged by that, by the way, really badly. <laughs> you know, so. He gets thrown uh, back too, doesn't he? Um. 10 feet? Yeah, yeah you, you get pushed 10 feet away, so. Bloop. Land right next to you. I kind of like put my hand out and stop you as <laughs> you're stumbling backwards. <laughs> you're... I'm pushing her down the stairs again, and I'm making sure it ends her next time. Bro is in the box just hearing all of this, going, What the fuck are they doing? Because <laughs> she still can't see anything. And with that, the vine blights would awaken they would definitely feel their master's thunder wave they would hear that and since she's in trouble they'll just come in at the end of initiative i'm in a safe spot <laughs> oh okay until i die 
Listen, boy. I almost died to mold. That's your own dumb fault. No. You should know better than to touch I'm random shit. Careful. <laughs> Can I see this one directly in front of me? Uh, you know, yeah, that you. Time would... It was at my best. Because I mean, the door is open now. Because Mitsa. Yeah, the door is open. You would be able to see that one. And it's already taken twenty-one damage, so. Yeah, it should go down. End it. Fuck it up. Okay. Uh, deck save. We should have tied them up. Didn't think about it. Deck save. All right. Well, they would have fought back. It got a seventeen. No! <laughs> no damage! Wow, Sacred Flame doesn't do any on a save. Save a Sook? Yep. That's how most cantrips are. Oh well, okay. Um... Okay. You see this holy orbital strike come in and just. It kind of smacks the Vine Blight in the shoulder and it just looks like, huh? <laughs> Great. Yeah. Try to decide if I want to do this. Okay, I'll be using my other War Priest. Hopefully rest soon. Yeah, let's do it. No. You're I funny. cannot save my book. Okay. Um, 19 hits. It image. So you smack it with the book. You where you kind of aim for the shoulder where your um, sacred flame hit it. You kind of created a weak point and you smack it and just falls in a it dies and falls to the floor in a slump of plant matter. No, I'll kinda of look at the other one and grin. <laughs> well, it's my turn. <laughs> Alrighty. Up oh, next it is Davian's turn. So he's going to move instead of stood up stepped over I'll just run. I'll have that door open so I wasn't in Davian's way. He can get he can get to it. Does it count as difficult terrain if they step into somebody's space, or only if they move through? Okay, we're taking that extra 26 into the OL. Do you know, Chrome? What? If if a character steps into another character's space, is that difficult terrain, or is it only if they attempt to pass through? Uh, meaning... So if they... It matters, because... If it counts as difficult terrain, it would be all of his 30 feet to step up to her spot, and he wouldn't no. have enough. 15, 25, 30. Okay. Right? Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm waiting yep. for my turn, and I can just take the five-foot step over, so... That's yeah, fine. He'll, he'll block you. All right, so Davian will come out. Or come up to this vine and blight, and he will t slash at it with his short sword. Missing because that was a nat one. Oof. Ro will kind of flinch away as he flails wildly with the sword, just like don't touch me. At least he didn't fall on his own sword. <laughs> right, Alexander. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's right, you can do the thing. I cast grease on the stairwell. <laughs> Alright, what kind of check does the druid have to make? What kind of antics are these? A <laughs> she rolled a two, she... <laughs> in that one. All prone. <laughs> I thought you were gonna telep telepathically like, push telepathic her. There it is! Cover down the stairs. Yes, there all right, so she's just knocked prone. She's not going to fall all the way down the stairs because well, she didn't have. He greased the staircase. He greased the stairs her. and then shoved her telepathically. Can you do that? Uh, it's a bonus action to shove. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> she was. Well, the staircase is greased, so this time, rather than be knocked violently down, she's the telekinetic shove is just going to kind of make her go. Wee! Like a slip and slide down the stairs. Stay out. <laughs> <laughs> I put a laugh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Roka yeah. just sticks her head out the door and just goes, What the fuck are you doing? I love that I have that spell now. <laughs> it's all worth it. 
Alrighty. At oh, wait, uh, and hold on, I need to sort because the Vine Blight's turn would be now. <laughs> Alright, so the Vine Blight is going to oh, fuck. look at Davian. It's going to uh, reach out its arm and it's going to wrap its arm around Davian, kind of squeezing him. Right, missing because that's Harder. a nat one. Two, Ooh. three nat ones in a row. God damn. Harder, daddy. So as divine blight tries to constrict and squeeze Damien with its tendril-like arm, tentacle-like arms, it Davian kind of he seems like he feels like he's gotten just a little bit of the essence of the grease on the staircase and slips out beneath the tendrils, and that'll be the vine blight's turn. Nisa's up. <laughs> Hold on, I have to see what Nisa has. Because I don't think he can get past anything useful. You can open that door, Buffer. Um. Nisa will kind of look and then poke the door open and see what happens. <laughs> this one right here. Okay. So if Nisa's going to open this door here. She would open the door. Better get out. And see this. Okay. Um, so she would see... Uh, there are two pairs of bunk beds that occupy this room. Um, against the west out. wall lies rests four identical footlockers. Okay. She'll step into the room just to kind of give uh, people room to move about, and that will be two her pairs turn. Of bunk beds that occupy this room. Okay. Ready, Oscar. Yeet. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Better not come back up those fucking stairs. I probably will. I'm gonna be like, oh god. Okay. Wouldn't it be difficult for Good. us to try and get up the stairs again though, since it's greased now? I'm gonna move up this way again. <laughs> Perfect. And I'm gonna lay on hands myself. Probably. Uh, How many do I have? I'm gonna go ahead and do fifteen. Oof. Yeah. Well, I'm near. I'm fucked. I got fucked up by that thunder. What did it do? Hmm? How much did it do? 15. I'm at 11 HP right now. It did 15. It did near max damage. Yeah. <laughs> My rolls are just swinging tonight. They go from she, really good to really fucking shit. <laughs> she was. She was pissed. Hang on. Just changing this. Lay on hands. Confirm. Healing. All right, bring it on. It's greasy now. I can just kick her. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to have trouble getting up. Nandi, how hard are you laughing at this right now? Um. But instead, I'm... Uh... No comment. <laughs> I keep... I'm doing the character sheet, and I keep stopping and just listening. <laughs> this is what we're like normally. Adding in another tiefling like me. Who How do I ping? Hold down left click. <laughs> what was that again? Hold down left click. Oh, I see, oh, I see it. Back. There's a door over here, though. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Hello, welcome back, DM. <laughs> I mean, I saw what you're doing. Damn it! Oh, uh, no, you didn't. Let's see, Oscar's right here. I'm right over here. I'm guarding this uh, other completely inconspicuous door and door. greased up staircase, which we're going to end up throwing Ro down because she wanted to slip and slide down. <laughs> the doors are not secret. If you're just noticing that one, then I don't know what to tell you. Can I ride your shield down then if you're going to shove me down the staircase? <gasps> that would be amazing. <laughs> anyway. Uh -oh. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put myself over here. I healed myself for 15 damage, um, HP rather, uh, with Lay on Hands. I've got five left on my Lay on Hands pool, just in case of an emergency. Um, and I'll go, since I'm waiting for this lady to, you know, straggle her all the way up here again, I'm going to go ahead and open this door real quick, just to check and see what's in there. I'm not stepping into the room, just opening the door. Okay, so... 
as you open this door here, you see that this room contains a rectangular table surrounded by eight chairs, an L-shaped cupboard, and a floor-to-ceiling closet pantry. Next to the pantry is a small iron stove. Cool. Probably don't even see the other door. Probably not. Um, so... <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. Oh, I was gonna. I was gonna step in there, grab a chair, throw it down the stairs, <laughs> just to spite. You used your action already. I did. Yeah. So that's why I'm not doing it. So I'm just gonna stay here. Uh, that's my turn. All right, uh, row. I'm just gonna call this room clear for now. Cool. I'm gonna step up here next to him, swing my book at that guy. Last... Alrighty, roll the hit. <laughs> There's no doors on this south wall, right? Oh, none, that none that you see. No. Okay. I just I can't see the wall, so I just wanted to make sure. The wall should be revealed just a little bit. It's not. It's not. Oh. There you go. Thank you. Noise. Noise hit. All right, Ro, what you doing? I did it. Oh. <laughs> okay. 23 hits for 11 damage. Cool. All right. Anything else you'd like to do? No, that'll be my turn. Alrighty. Up next is going to be the druid's turn. When she enters the grease, she needs to make another save. Or else we'll be knocked prone again. Yep. Is the grease difficult terrain on top of that? I'm double checking. Uh, yes. Okay, one moment. What would she do? <laughs> leave. She should count her blessings and leave. <laughs> You're being evicted. <laughs> okay. So, one moment here. Okay. Yep. So <laughs> you don't exactly see what's going on, but oops. <laughs> you delete her or move her to the GM. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. You don't know. Well, I know. You don't know. Yeah. Summon more of those assholes. Probably summon more of those assholes. Hey! Are these stairs made of stone? Uh, yes. Follow-up question, if they go up in fire, will the house burn down? Um, fun, yeah, this whole place is pretty much stone. Um, Davian, Davian no. would look at you and say, he would re reach around and be like, how dare you? Don't burn my chateau. I mean, it's just going to be the stairs. These things are made of wood. I can end the grease. These things are made of wood. No, not necessarily. Aww. We're not killing the people. She's... So, she's had her turn. That's you don't know what's her. going on. You, I mean, you could try. I'm just saying. Anyway. Davian would... Pe Davian would... He would hear your bullshit. He'd be, yell at you and be like, Don't you dare! Oh. And he'd go back and... I mean, you've literally got the guy who lives here with you, yeah. and you're talking about burning down his house. It's like... made of stone! <laughs> Except this upper floor, <laughs> which looks to be wood. Like, I stomp my foot on the ground so you can hear the thump of the wood. 
No. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so Davian would uh, slash at the Vine Blight with his short sword. Hopefully not getting a net one. Oh, not a net one, but still missing. And that'll be his turn. Alexander. Walking mysteriously through the darkness. You guys remember that commercial of the baby running around and there's a camera that has his camera angle exactly like Alexander's doing right now? And Google. And the baby's <laughs> going, just running around. Hey. Turn on living room light. Okay. Just me? Okay. <laughs> We're getting the tour of the house. He got evicted from the bedroom, I guess. Mm. As he reclines. Oh, okay, Mr. Comfortable over here. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, my chair does it too. I can't do that. My chair will break. I don't he know sat if I down. Can sit back up, but... He sat down in a fancy chair. That's I mean, nice. gaming chair. <laughs> my fancy kind. If I recline all the way back, my legs hit the desk, and then everything shakes. I was expecting you to say, if I go back, everything goes back and my ass goes over my head. I mean, maybe. I'm not gonna try. It's like, Especially honey, I haven't been that flexible in years. Especially wow. not on stream. And mm. Alright. My YouTube channel is not that kind of channel. I'm probably going to regret it. But I'll open this door. Okay. So as you open this door, you see... Another bedroom with bunk beds, pretty much identical to the one next door to it. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty. And from here, I'm going to cast... Ray of Frost. On the Fine Blights. Okay. With a... Tend to hit, doesn't hit. I'm sure. Nope. nope. That's my movement and my action. I'm concentrating on that. And I'm good. Alrighty. So the Vine Blight will reach its tendrily arm to Row and attempt to wrap the tendrils around her. Um, 20. That hits. Alrighty. Damn it. Are you just trying to show off your chair, Alexander? I'm using the restroom. I'll be back. He's like, look at my couch. It's not mine. With butt heating action now. <laughs> All right, Ro, you're going to take 12 bludgeoning damage, and you are grappled. Yep, you are grappled and restrained. Harder, Daddy. Pineapple. Fuck off. <laughs> so when you're grappled, you can't move, and when you're restrained, um, well, yeah, you were restrained before. So basically, you can't move, and you have disadvantage on attacks, and people attacking you have advantage. Okay. All right, Misa. is going to step over here and open the last door. Okay. As you open this door here... Found the rest of the party, guys! You open this door here, and... What you see... is going to be... sort of a catwalk scaffolding that's looking down over the main room downstairs into the fermentation vats. So you can see down downstairs the large casks of wine that are set to ferment. And you see several swarms of ravens and a lone druid 
and the swarms of ravens kind of just look at you and then look away. Aren't these the ravens Ro talked to? They are. So they know they're friendly with Ro, right? They yeah, extent. they were they they did seem friendly. To Ro at least. <laughs> this is the druid I saw in the window. Mm. It is. It's all coming together. Okay. Uh, I think it took all of me to to get here since we had to go through two people. Ten, twenty, twenty-five. She can move one more square. Uh, or no, wait. One, five, fifteen, twenty-five. No, that is twenty. That. Yep. Yep. You're right. You're right. Next, stupid. Alrighty, Asuka. Okay. How, how do these stairs work? What stairs? The, sca the stairs inside the door, do they go down? Yeah, these go down. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I see. All good. It's like kind of like a it leaps scaffolding down to the catwalk. On the second floor that I saw, right? mm -hmm. yeah, and it yeah. comes to the top of the fermentation vats where... Um, liquid can be poured in or pulled out to be sampled. This is like just up top so they can have access to the top part. All good. Um, there's really not a lot we can, I can do because I, I can't go down. I'll just look down. I gotta, oh. uh, I, I don't know what she's doing down there. So I'm just kind of waiting. Um, so hmm. better add this druid to initiative. Can't really do much of anything, so I guess I'm just gonna yield my turn. I'm just gonna wait. Already row. I have no spells left. Uh, you said I'm at disadvantage because I'm trying to attack. Does that include spells? Um, any. Attack? Yeah, only on attack rolls. Okay, then I'm gonna cast sacred flame on this. It's a DC 12 dex save. Okay. Saving throws are so low. It rolled a zero. <laughs> three damage. All right. All right. It is going to take three damage. Um, you didn't want to attempt to escape the grapple. Well, I guess you've done this now, but. Yeah, I, it's not worth it. I just. I've just decided I'm going to try and kill it, and then I'll worry about my feet. Fair enough. Well, it's really more like wrapped its like tendrils around you and kind of squeezed you and held you in place. Damn it. Get it out <laughs> from there. And that's the turn. Cool. Davian's turn. Ooh, Davian crits. Yeah, with his short that. sword. About time he pulled his weight. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm just gonna roll this with three old dice. It's easier. That's kind of a shitty crit. Well, actually, it's not that bad. So it's going to attack and deal six damage with his short sword. And I kind of forgot that Davian has multi attack, so he's going to do it again. <laughs> he had multi attack this whole time. God damn it. All right, hitting with a 22. Three more damage. All right, this Vine Blight is looking rough. And Alexander. All right. Five, ten, fifteen. I'm going to yell at the druid. 
and say, "One of your ally, one of your sisters is captured while the other one lays broken at the bottom of the stairs. Surrender now, or join their fate." All right, um, give me a, what do I want? What I know, she didn't come back up. Right. right. He, he's not, he's not intentional, he's not, like, lying, like, as far as he knows, you know. Oh, I know, I'm not. I'm trying to intimidate this one, too. <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead and give me an intimidation check. You get advantage on that? I only get that once per short rest. Okay. Gotcha. She would look at you and she would say, What? Alright, and then it's actually her turn next. Oh, I was gonna move out of the room. Oh, make your move. Take your movement. I was gonna come back here and you, <laughs> talk to this druid and say, You need to, you need to move you up front and show that you're prisoner. <laughs> Kindly to her, I am. I'm not mean to her. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you're basically just trying to get her to stand down. Yeah. I'm. I have no intentions of killing any of these guys. She would scream forward at you and say. You try to scare me and then you leave? What? Yeah, it's not the brightest thing. I am so weak right now. <laughs> I'm going to say that with you leaving, that, that would have gone somewhere, but she, you can't really do anything else social because you left. So you're, she's yep. just like, kind of yep. like, what the fuck? Yep. I'll say what this will do. She'll you, You'll have like just really confused her, and she will waste her turn because she's been confused by what the <laughs> fuck you just did. <laughs> It is Divine Blight's turn. All right, and with its other hand, the Vine Blight will again attempt to squeeze Row. 23. 12 damage. Uh, Row is down. Oh. All right, so as... As you go yeah, down, I'm as you go down, it's te it's tendrils kind of release, and you're so and you sort of crumple to the ground. Yikes! All right, um, that's all it can do. Beast's turn. Okay, quick question: Since the uh -huh. was friendly with the raven, would they react to her going down? They can't see you. The birds are like perched up on the um, ledge. Yeah, they're not like sitting on the ground. She does not have sneak attack because the ravens are in range. The ravens are not hostile. Oh, okay. Re remember what we were saying. Ro had previously communicated with them, and they're not enemies. Oh. Oh, we need a burrito. Plus seven and nine. Or no, seven and six. So 22 damage total. For this one, yeah. Whew! Someone's doing something tonight. <laughs> Alright, this druid looks fucking rough. Maybe she'll listen next time. <laughs> you didn't really give her a chance to comply. I you yelled know. at her and then left. I. <laughs> One 
swift breeze can blow me over, Boon. <laughs> I'm coming back. With you don't get to, You can't intimidate and just be like, I Hey, I fuck you! Me. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Drive by and <insects>. sex. <laughs> Hold on, I've got a pee. I'll be right back. Oh, Reginald, I disagree. Drive off. If I had more health, I'd be less scared. If I had more health, you're not the one in deck saves, motherfucker! Well, maybe you should kill the thing creature faster. I already killed one. No, 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 no. Niesa killed it. <laughs> you finished it off. I still killed it. And I've already damaged this one. You're a friend with you. So, you're gonna yell at me, right? Tell me to come over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let me know that uh, we got somebody down. Yep. You should really carry around adrenaline shots or some shit. <laughs> They're called healing potions. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good thing I didn't dump all my Helion hands on you, by the way, because I was totally you know, thinking about doing it. <laughs> that was a good thing you didn't, because that would have been bad. Yeah. You know what we could do? Uh. We could try and see if the, the, the brown mold heals people. No! No! You can certainly try. I do not Absolutely need to be cryogenically not. frozen, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so is that that was Misa's turn, right? Yeah. There's no Oscar. Move that left. I can't get boxes. Okay, so Alexander has let me know that Rose down. Yeah. You can't get to her in a turn. No, I sure as fuck can't. You can dash. I sure can try, but uh, you guys are in the way, so. <laughs> Fucking tight hallways, man. So I'm able to five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Strange, I thought you liked things tight. So I kind of am giggity. <laughs> God damn it. That distracted me. Uh, I'm going to share this spot with um, Callie. Um, I don't think you can end your turn in the same space as somebody. Uh, unless they're like a, unless they're like a size class smaller than you. Are they? No, she's medium. She's a human. Oh. Or whatever she is, I can't tell. Asimar. That's what she decided on. Okay, oh, okay, I'll just end my turn here. And... Don't we have some... I thought I had a healing... I do have a healing potion. Hang on a sec. Da, 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 da. I have to get to her. Da, 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 da. I can hand it, I can hand it to you! Lob it around the corner. Yeah, that! <laughs> I'm dealing with other you, things. With what? Running away? Just dash in there and heal her next turn. What else are you going to do? To be fair, I wouldn't be too upset if Ro died because I have another character. Killed, so. <laughs> My god. <laughs> I'd be upset. Why? Just I'm because... done playing with this character. Your I don't want to play with you anymore. Just kill it off so I can use another one. <laughs> He's I'm great. not saying to do that. I'm just saying I have backup plans. Nobody will intentionally be murdered. Ending my turn here, I guess. All right, Ro, give me a death save. Oh, it's one d twenty. Yep, that's a fail. Add one fail. Oof. Ro's turn. All right. Nope. Fuck it up, Davian. Davian, 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 what would he do? Don't think he can heal. <laughs> you never know? I don't, but I'm not banking on it. Mm, give me one moment here.
Okay, so what Davian will do, Davian will look over at Ro, and he will push his hands onto her chest and start chest compressions, start trying to use CPR and attempt to stabilize her. Mm. Failing. Oh, science. <laughs> Ro is still in death saves. Davian attempted to stabilize her. His medicine check was unsuccessful. He tried. And that'll be his turn. Sure. Alexander. Can I pull this druid with me? And kind of position her in front of me on the stairs while I'm standing to the landing. Kind of giving the druid the eyes with my like hand, like ready shocking grass on the druid. There's like a lightning sparking on my hand, just but she doesn't surrender. Okay, so you're basically holding a gun to Callie's head and showing it off to the other druid. Yep. <laughs> you could just tell Callie. Okay. All, All right. right. So the this other druid looks at you and she says she kind of almost she almost like hisses at you and says Callie sister have you fallen prisoner you are not who I thought you are you are worthless and doggy dot world you are taking like the weakest bitch of all of these druids. In and here the world. we thought that we had somebody of value. <laughs> they, these, so you can tell that these other druids do not give a fuck about Callie. Wow. <laughs> you don't need to be treated like that, Callie. You deserve better. If you were <laughs> trying to clear them out, Animal Messenger would have been a much better way to go because they might have actually fell for that. <laughs> Uh, I don't trust her. According to your insight check, as far as you could tell, she was being honest. That insight check of an eight. I didn't insight her. I did. <laughs> I assume Asuka would have said, like, oh yeah, yeah, she seems legit. Alright, anyways... It is the druid's turn. And this druid, again, is going to kind of snap her fingers and cast Thunder Wave. Dex save for... It's going to hit the ravens! They're flying up in the air. They're fine. Uh, Misa needs a dex save, right? Con. Yes. Or, excuse me, yeah, Con. Oh, Con. Sorry, that was a good one. <laughs> okay! Oh, even better! Wow. Okay, you succeed and take uh, six damage okay. for Misa. And Misa, I can't damage Misa. Oh. Um, yeah, Boone has I to don't, hurt her. I don't think it's going to matter. We'll just. Or it will, possibly. I'll, I'll pull her up. Um, and then she's also going to cast Hellish Rebuke on the fucking okay. that's trying to hurt her. It is a death not an attack. Huh? It's not an attack. Uh, it doesn't say an attack. It's a hellish or beak is a reaction. Two attacks. Uh, to damage. Yeah, it's. No. Hold on, I'm pretty sure it's anytime you're damaged. It is. Let 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 me look it up. I have just put it. It says, not... it says being damaged by a creature within sixty feet of you that you can see. Yep. It's no. just damage. No. It's right there in chat. Yeah, you Have right. you have you been um ruining the fun of Hellish Rebuke for your players all this time? <laughs> We're starting to sound like So it's a Dex thirteen. DC thirteen Dex save. Okay. Damn. Okay. So Hellish Rebuke is great. She Ooh. rolled a nat fucking one. No. All right. Yikes. So uh, as you see this thunder wave that sort of crackles Misa's bones, you see that 
the damage from her bones kind of reverberates and turns into flame and just throws flames at the druid who is fucking toast. Damn it. Hey, we tried. Alexander, the route you were taking with this lowly individual was not going to <laughs> give you the results you're seeking. I figured more of them would learn their lives. Right. These are not the high-ranking people here. These are the cleanup crew. These are like the thugs that they send in to like smash shit up after just as like an extra fuck you. <laughs> Alrighty, Vine Blight's turn. Um, the Vine Blight is going to look at Rose Corpse, feeling pretty self-satisfied that it's downed her, and it's going to smack at Davian with its Constrict ability. Hitting. For, oof, for 12 damage. Alrighty, so Davian is now um, grappled and restrained. Cool, Misa. Uh, so Misa can't really get to Rose to do anything, but she'll look at one of the birds and go, Rose, your friend, does that matter to you that she's almost dead? And then that'll be her turn. Tell that to the bird right here in front of her. Okay. Give me one sec here. Do, 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 do. Got too many tabs open. I need a second monitor. I really do. All right. So as you say this, we're going to interrupt Asuka's turn. And this swarm of ravens here will kind of that was Misa speaking? Yes. The swarm of ravens will kind of fly around Misa looking concerned but not really knowing <laughs> what, what it is. Misa point at the door and hope Alexander gets the message to guide them. The birds. The birds. What are they going to do? Show them where Rowan is. As, as you say this, this swarm of ravens, it kind of, they kind of fly around, and you see this <clears throat> magic about them. <clears throat> and you see this swarm of ravens, they kind of start flying into each other, and their feathers start kind of falling away, and they start shifting and morphing. And you see this swarm of ravens turn into turn into an individual. This swarm of ravens comes up and says, "Oh, thank you for your help, Misa. Name's Adrian. We'll do our best to help Rohana." Misa just kind of standing there waving, like, "Um, you're welcome." Adrian? Adrian. Adrian Martikoff. Pleasure to meet you. Um, or not in there, so... Alright, and it'll be Asuka's turn. Okay, well... I don't know what's going on, because I'm in a hallway, and everybody's gone. So I'm gonna run over here. Through the walls, shifting through. Huh? Shifting through the wall like a ghost. Like a ghost. Um, <laughs> and there we go. And um, what's it called? I see that you know they're both in trouble, but Rose on the floor. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, lay on hands her for five HP. Ro, you are no longer at death saves, and you have five HP. You're welcome. Anything else you'd like to do, Asuka? Um, is she still tied down with the roots or whatever? Mm 
No, she once she went down, the uh, Vine Blight released her. Okay. Well, I can't really act on anything anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and end my turn there. All right, Ro, you are prone, but you are alive. I don't have to stand up to do this. So. <laughs> you want to stand up, because when you're prone, I believe you have disadvantage on attacks. I was going to cast Sacred Flame again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which is a dex, well, a DC 12 dex save. Alrighty. Roll me some damage. Motherfucker. Three. Okay, let's see what happens. Vine Blight. Fails. Alright, as you see this sacred flame, just, you see Ro from her death save just lift an arm and be like, Fuck you! Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and the Vine Blight vanishes. And that'll be initiative. <laughs> I just kind of slumped down on this thing that's right there. It's just like, oh, fuck. Alexander, Misa, everything okay out there? We had to kill one of the others. She won him back down. Unfortunate, but wait, where'd the other one go? We're still missing one. Yeah. Oh, hopefully it ran off and it was better for it. We should, or it bled out we should try to, the stairs. We should probably check. Not that I want to engage in more combat right this second, but... I need a moment. We're all looking very beaten and dis... <sighs> What's that machine at the top? Um, give me an investigation check. The owner is right here. No, <laughs> uh, if, if, if you... Right here. <laughs> you right, you right. Um... I was mostly saying that to stall for time while I double checked. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Damn it! I used my natural twenty for the day. <laughs> you crit succeeded on what you were about to be yeah. told. <laughs> All right. So, um, what you find out, and as you're searching, Davian kind of supplements your knowledge here. Uh, this is a printing press. This is where they print the labels for the bottles of wine. Witchcraft tools? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a printing press is ancient technology. This is not witchcraft. Well, this is not like a cell phone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that satisfies my curiosity. I'm just going to sit here and look. All right, I need to run the sucker. With that investigation check, though, you do see that there is a cabinet, and inside the cabinet there's a key. This key for. Uh -huh. What do you mean? What do you don't, mean? don't know. <laughs> the key, um, that will, Davian says, uh, that'll unlock the veranda. Okay, so we can tear it up. Try to see what veranda is on this house. It looks like we haven't gotten there yet. Is there a bed I could possibly use to kind of sleep this off? I'll ask as I hoist myself to my feet finally. We can't. I mean, yeah. I help Ro up. We can't sleep, Ro. Yeah, uh, we still don't know if there's more. You know, there's two more, supposedly. We don't know what they're plotting. Supposedly there's a person over here that knows you. D Davian um, kind of comes out of the room and he looks and he says. Mardikov's, come on. These people have been help. These people have been of help to us. Let's do what we can for them. So Adrian, the one who's identified himself as Adrian, comes up. These three other ravens fly over, and they sort of the they look like a flock of ravens, but they sort of fly into one another and coalesce and transform into these human shapes again. Murder. 
Murder? That's what a group of ravens is called. Oh, yeah. So, Davian says, Adrian, Elvir, Stefania, Dag, it's wonderful to see you all. What the, the fuck is that? They look over and they say, Thank you, Father. We've been doing our best to keep the druids at bay. I'll kind of look curiously at, uh, what's his name again? Davian? And just kind of mouth, Odin? <laughs> he kind of cocks his head at you, um, I don't know, Odin? This is my family. We are the Mardikovs. We run the Wizards of Wine. We <sighs> normally we don't share the secret with others, but we have the ability to shift into a raven form. I have been cautious in sharing this information, but you have done so much to help us and try to aid in trying to aid our home. I wanted to offer what we can. We could allow we could stand guard and allow you to rest briefly. Not for long, but if you would like to step into these rooms, we will ensure that nobody bothers you for the next hour or so. I'm over here like what's what's going on out there? Well, I've got my head leaned out the door. I'm kind of leaning on the door frame. Listening yeah. To him. Do you need our help to clear out the rest of the druids? Well, uh, Davian kind of looks over at his children and says, "Are there still more druids here?" And um, Adrian or Adrian or Elvir pops up and says. Father, I saw one more. Off to... Off to the east. Ro will take a deep breath and think for a second, and then since they're all gathered, like, right here together, she's gonna cast Prayer of Healing. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, roll some healing. Yes. Ten health points for everyone. Uh -huh. Please get us to a point where we can... Hopefully. Yeah, let's go fuck him up. I feel like that's the first healing spell you've ever cast. Effective <laughs> one, maybe. See if I do it for y'all again. <laughs> they Love they you. also they offered you a short rest, is what they were you offering. Know, but... It doesn't get my spell can, slots, we... so I might as well. Now we can short rest too, really yeah. quick. I mean, I'm good enough to take out the last druid. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. If this is the last of what we're doing, I will go ham. Yeah. I have no more spell slots. I have nothing else. But I, if you guys want to go, we'll go. I've got enough spell slots that I can do this. And I'll look, kind of shake myself. You don't know what we're up against, you guys. Just a heads up. So we're, give, we're give, being given the opportunity to, for a short moment, rest up. So that we have a little bit more to deal with. It won't get me my spell slots back. Short rest does doesn't know, do enough know, for me to. Well, I'll look at Adrian and our uh, what was his name that said where it was? Elvir. Elvir, can you show us the way specifically to where you saw the last druid? Of course, all four of them sort of. You see their human form sort of turning dark and splitting apart and turning back into flocks of ravens. And all four of the ravens fly back down into this whoop, into this room. One perches himself upon this upon this railing and kind of gestures through this door. Is there is there two access accesses to this place? You can see one door currently. But uh, uh, I'll go ahead and ask, um, oh my god, I need to remember his name. Davian. Owner of the house. If there's any other room, uh, door that leads to this particular room over here. Davian would say, yes, if you... You can get the go drop on them. 
If you go through the kitchen, there is an additional door that leads through a hallway back into that room. Two per side. That way we can that way we can go ahead and drop get the drop on him. Or him. I don't know. Okay. Go through here. Not that room. Um into this hallway. This hallway. And then Ro will open the door right here. And then I'll open the door on this side. Alright. And Davian would come up. He'll come up to this uh yeah, it doesn't really matter. And I'll kinda nod it. Uh, Allie's with me. Mm-hmm. The raven and say thank you. The raven just kind of nods at you. <laughs> Alrighty. So to leaving. Because there's so many people. What the You open this door and as you open it, what you see, um, you see this room has a wooden floor with a 10-foot square hole cut in the middle of it. Looming over the hole is a wooden winch. Perched atop it is... Actually, it doesn't matter because this is just a druid. Alrighty, the druid looks back at you and says, and says, What are you doing here? I don't feel like arguing with you. We've killed two or three of your sisters. I've lost count. I've got the other one tied up at the back of the party. Are you gonna fight us or are you just gonna give up? Give me a persuasion check. She'll contest it. Give me one sec. Oh, yep, nope. So, she looks and says, You've killed my sisters. Who have you killed? The only one left alive that I know for sure is Hallie. And she's tied up. I nudge over to Alexander to pull her. I'll kill her! I'll fucking do it! Don't kill her. Yes. She kind of, she kind of sighs and says, Callie always was a stupid bitch. Jesus. <laughs> oh says, what do you want? We need those seeds back, but mostly we need you to leave this house. Leave this house alone. If you want the seeds, you will. You must go to Yesterhill. We, we gathered that part already, but we need you to leave. Nah. I will go. I will go. Be warned. There are many more of us that you will find sooner than you might think. Be be wary. I will fucking light your forests on fire. Do not test me. He's cranky. He hasn't had any sleep and he's out of spell slot. <laughs> <laughs> this druid will wave off and say, "I will. I will leave. I will leave. But be aware, there are many." Many, many more of us. Mm. And she will. I don't like nature. Are you going to allow her to leave? Or are you going to? As long as she leaves, let her go. Oh, yeah. She will. Is Misa going to allow her by? She'll step over across the floor. She's going to walk, walk, walk. She steps on this ramp. And you hear like a wee, <laughs> and she slides down and disappears. Let's <sighs> do a sweep of the house. Make sure they're we all need gone. to check the downstairs. Can you remove grease so we can walk down the stairs? It's been it only yeah. Lasts grease would have been long gone by okay, now. Great. Let's go take that. Take a look and make sure that you know. The Sparta girl over here. I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing. No one in here. Looks like it's the exit. Bro, we'll Alrighty. kind of look around and make sure no one's watching, and then she'll follow the other one down the slide. <laughs> There's a ton of casks down here. Alright, so, yeah, you would come down here, Asuka, and you would see... What, what is this? A blood stain, I hope. <laughs> you would see um, a little bit of a chip in the floor where it looks like there was some definite 
falling that happened. Um, but other than that, you just see a row of barrels, a, r a row of new barrels that fill the room. And you see the narrow spiral stair stone staircase in the southwest corner that you just descended. I'm going to check over here. So Bro is down here. She came down the slide. And Misa went down the staircase and we found her. And Alexander's checking this last dark room up top. Okay. So, Asuka, when you go in here, you would just see... Or you would see that there. this is where the barrels are made. You see also an exit that you can surmise the druid probably got the fuck out through. No way. And stay out. Alright, and this last room over here. Alright, this one is going to be... Um, it appears to be a bedroom. It contains a four-post bed. Its headboard is carved in the likeness of a giant raven. A soft black rug covers the floor between the bed and the door. In the corners of the south wall stand two slender wardrobes with a tapestry of a church hanging on the wall between them. Beneath the tapestry sits a handsomely carved rocking cradle. To the north, under a window, is a plain desk and chair. Other furnishings include a wooden desk and a freestanding mirror in a wooden frame. As you are in there, you would see Davian would kind of boop, 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 boop. Davian would come up and be like, yes, this is my bedroom. May I help you? I'm just making sure there's no more druids in here. Understandable. I'll walk back out and take Callie down the stairs to the main cask room. The one that, um, oh yeah, the, okay, Every, we'll just pull ev everybody down in here. Throw it right down the chute. Mm -hmm. Alright, as you come down Jeep. here, go ahead. Did she go down all the way, or did she come out here? Um, depends on where she wanted to slide. Ro, did you slide down to the cellar, or? No, I slid right to here. I wanted to see if I could figure out where Miss Thing went to. She's gone. Ah. Row over here, you come into um, a oh, loading dock. Fuck. Mm -hmm. I I'll show it to you. It's just the horses. I figured it was just horses. <laughs> I'm like, like, uh. I could have been dramatic with it, but I'm trying to get to a certain point. I love that the gen general consensus was, oh, fuck, though. This is just giant, enormous horses. How did we not see in here when we did our walk around? You might have. It. <laughs> this room wasn't relevant, really, for what you were looking for. I don't know. Oversight. You're new. It's fine. I can hold it on you. Wander back up the store towards the rest of the party. I found the horses! <laughs> <laughs> fucking big Oh, fucking is this where you step? Where they step on the grapes? Yep, this is, um, th this, with the key that you found, this is the veranda. You were able to unlock this door. Um, in the veranda, you see uh, all these wooden tubs. Uh, they're inside stained with grape juice. Each tub has a short ladder bolted to its side. And um, a catch basin is tucked underneath each one. Cool. Let me just make sure this room's empty over here. I think we're good. Yeah. Yep. That is, that. Um, it's a store. It's a storage closet. All right, Davian. It's all clear. Your house is free. And 
whether they come back is uh, hopefully a non-factor. Thank Davian says, thank you so much. Um, you have cleared our home. Now, I have one last favor to ask of you. These druids have poisoned our wine that we have been fermenting here. Hmm. Might any of you have a way to assist us with this so we can send you on your way with your shipment? Well. Let me roast and I might be able to get us some food. Alrighty. Davian says, absolutely. I have purified with... drink if I can rest, so yes. Beautiful. Davian says, absolutely. Everything that you have done for the Wizards of Wine, you will always be considered as friends here. We will as... certainly allow you to rest. As for a bit of compensation for putting our neck on the line to help not only you, but our proprietor, we were... Uh, is there any compensation that you can provide? I just want to rest at this point. Davian says, well, for now, we can provide you shelter in an otherwise hostile land. Um, that is more than you will find in, in many, many places. Shelter at no charge. We will allow you to Use our what what little provisions that we have um, monetarily. We have very little to offer currently. If you could, if you are able to help us in restoring the wizards of wine in seeking the seeking our seeds that have been stolen, uh, perhaps we will be able to reinstate our shipping routes and cut you in on our profits. As it stands, we can offer you shelter. And what meager sustenance we have. I appreciate the shelter. Just probably go upstairs. Want to go upstairs and long rest, guys? Oh, and one other thing. Davian says, he kind of sighs. He says, one other thing that I can offer you is my assistance. And as he says this, each of you see in sort of the back of your minds, you see one of the Taroka cards from Madame Ava appear in the back of your heads. You see the Raven. You, re re you recall her fortune. Um, find the leader of the Feathered Ones who live among the vines. Though old, he has more fight left in him. Party. You, f you, feel, you see this in your mind, and you feel that a prophecy has been a, a foretold prophecy has been uncovered and achieved as you've found somebody who is willing to travel with you and aid you in your fight thank you so much sir we greatly appreciate it he says you're welcome another body between me and uh, death is always appreciated Always so pragmatic. All right. Well, you guys can go on ahead and hit the long rest, and you can level up to level five. Cool. Uh, Billy. Oh, Cleared out the Wizards of Wine. You have found your first. You have found your first fortune reading from Madam Ava, and found a companion to help you in your fight. And I have picked up purified food and, uh, food and drink, so I Beautiful. can do the barrels tomorrow. Okay. I think this is a good stopping point, actually. This is really perfect. Yeah, that's... Kind of Let's figure out more stuff about level 5. <laughs> what? Level 5, baby! Yeah, I'm going to destroy <laughs> undead now. Oh, nice. Do I get more spell slots? What do I get? Probably get level 
three spells? Does Paladin get those? No. <laughs> oh, this is my next level up, though. I get extra attack? Yes. You can smack at things twice with your sword and miss twice now. Miss twice, yeah. <laughs> Mighty misses. Okay, so I need to speak to the dead if I can, right? That was a thing you guys were hoping to find, yes. Oh, I didn't realize that I had this, too. Apparently, since I chose Sentinel. Yeah. When you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, the creature's speed becomes zero for the rest of the turn. Oh, nice. I didn't know you for... picked up Sentinel. Yeah, I did. I didn't realize so either. <laughs> when a creature within five feet of you makes an attack and attack on you, you can use a reaction. Oh, that's the reaction I've been using all over the place. Creatures provoke opportunity attacks from you even if they take the disengage action before you can even reach the action. That's right. Is this spell not level three? I thought it was. What spell? Um. Don't want to spoil it. Oh. I did take Speak with the Dead. And yes. Next time we long rest, I can get rid of that one and grab something else if I need to. Well, you, can, you can use Speak with the Dead when you get rid of, figure out this helmet head. Thing. 